Hi guys, uh, this is Dan with Index Option Trading after the market close on uh, May the 5th and here is we start again with the chart of VIX as you can see VIX has been spiking here again today to 27 and then fell back to 24 and if you put a little bit on it uh, what I call a Bollinger Band EMA you can see what it is doing the Bollinger Band is tagged heavily and it's closing above the band which means there's more than two standard deviations out and this thing is definitely going to reverse back here somehow. It whenever it hits the band this hard, usually it, the commodity or the stock or the asset usually falls back into this band. And we just have to see if the VIX drops. VIX drops, the market can go higher. And let's see what it is doing to let me remove this thing here and go back to the 50-day moving average and type in here SPX. The volatility is very high right now at this time in the marketplace that's why all these puts and calls are very expensive especially the puts on S&P 500 which we have shorts are very expensive at this time and so harder to get out of the position when you have some kind of a dime move in the works now uh, the stochastic if you look at it is extremely oversold the market is getting extremely oversold here and it hit the 50 day moving average closed below it and then again moved up again and it's just resting here at a close below the 50 is not a big deal but it has penetrated the 50 day moving average and that's why we started lightening up our positions here and any close below this would definitely be in the bearish territory and then there is some more to go and we it looks like we're in the midst of some kind of a correction this correction was largely caused by Goldman Sachs this is the big candle here when Goldman Sachs was grilled into the Senate. This is the red candle when Goldman Sachs uh, criminal charges were fired. So this is a Goldman Sachs correction if you want to hear about it. And that's what it is. And so we're still holding our horses here. Some of the stuff to look at it in the other charts here on Apple. Um, let's take a quick look on Apple here. Apple has closed the gap here and it is again hanging here 255 and as soon as it goes up this trend line it should be in a safer territory about 258 the volume was very heavy on it 31 million shares traded next we move to Goog which is Google and this has been in a nasty downward channel moved down here 30 points yesterday and barely recovered about nine points which is not good but the volume increase on Google here and that is a good indication there was some churning here it looks like because it was pulled back and if we can if Google can move manage to move by 520 and 530 then we're in a better shape here so that is what is this market is doing for now and I'll get back to you with another addition this market is still remains in correction